for teaching people that subjective feelings trump objective reality. And that these subjective feelings cannot be proven or disproven. Any more so that you can prove that I'm happy because I told you I'm happy. You can't prove it. I can lie about it. I can tell the truth. I can do whatever I want with that. It's mine. But we can't make policy and we can't have people to say that those subjective feelings that I that only exist in my mind need to trump reality and that everybody else needs to conform to something that I've decided. There can be no middle way in dealing with transgenderism. It is all or nothing. If transgenderism is true, if men really can become women, then it's true for everybody of all ages. If transgenderism is false, as it is, if men really can't become women, as they cannot, then it's false for everybody too. And if it's false, then we should not indulge it, especially since that indulgence requires taking away the rights and customs of so many people. If it is false, then for the good of society, and especially for the good of the poor people who have fallen prey to this confusion, transgenderism must be eradicated from public life entirely. The whole preposterous ideology at every level. If you look at transgender people and you say that they are people who are this is a serious thing, right? It's a real thing. It's happened. And, you know, even though their subjective feelings contradict objective reality, we still need to honor their, their subjective over the objective. We need to honor how people feel as opposed to what is real. I think what Michael Knowles is saying is that we need to help these people to overcome their problem we need to transgenderism is an idea right it's this idea that people whose minds are not conformed to reality right have now been given an excuse an excuse to live out their fantasies or live out their delusion That's what he's talking about getting rid of. Is that instead of indulging these people and playing into it and allowing everybody to act as if the delusion is real when it's not, we should get help and help these people. Help them to see the world for what it really is. See, we do that for everything else, any type of mental disorder. If I started calling myself a dog and said, I'm a dog, and I use the bathroom right there on your front yard, you would say that I have a mental health issue and that we need to, we need to help Che. We need to sit him down and say, Che, I know that your brain is telling you you're a dog and that you should bark and that you should eat out of a bowl and that you should go and use the bathroom in, in public and you should walk around just, just doing whatever you feel like doing like that dogs do, right? But that's not your reality. Right. That's what's in your mind. We need to change your mind and fix your mind so that your mind can now conform to reality, because that's what it really is. That's what's really going on. It's not to get rid of the people. It's to get rid of this idea that we can continue down the delusion. So all these people making, you know, on you know, on Twitter the uh uh the front lines of the activist grift that are saying that they want to throw people into an incinerator it, it's just false we want to help people overcome their problems that's it that's it I want you to overcome your issues. I want you to see the world for what it really is and not the world for what's only in your brain and only you can see. See, the problem with this, the problem with this idea, right? And I and I, I say it all the time, and it's really simple, and I don't see it being said enough, is that we're teaching people that subjective feelings trump objective reality. And that these subjective feelings cannot be proven or disproven. It can't. Any more so than I can tell you that you can prove that I'm happy because I told you I'm happy. 
You can't prove it. If I tell you, if I see you, I say, and you say, how you doing? I'm doing good. You cannot prove or disprove that. That's my, that's, that's something that's a feeling that exists in my mind. I can lie about it. I can tell the truth. I can do whatever I want with that. It's mine. But we can't make policy and we can't have people to say that those subjective feelings that I that only exist in my mind need to trump reality and that everybody else needs to conform to something that I've decided. That's something that's within my own mind. I'm just saying like that. That's the biggest danger when it comes to it's not about. I mean, yeah, it, I'm not saying that it is dangerous to have kids being transitioned at a young age. and be, But this is all an attempt to get people and not just the trans kids, but you, the normal person, the person that is that is, you know, in their right mind to then start saying, well, maybe that a person's feelings is more important. And then we can throw in other things and then they start pushing the envelope. And this is where the ty tyranny and this is where the authoritarianism and this is where the danger comes in is because these people will then be able to use subjective feelings to trump objective reality. We saw this with the whole COVID thing where we they started pushing fear, subjective fear, and it overrode people's objective reasoning. This is how you manipulate and subjugate a people. You get people to start to believe the things that they feel are more important than what's real. It's 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 pimping on a bigger level. I'm just trying to tell you from a street perspective, that's what it is. Like this is how this is how you manipulate people. You play on their emotions, you get them riled up for something that may or may not exist. It doesn't really matter as long as you believe it exists, and then you manipulate them with answers that they feel that only you have. This is the biggest issue when it comes to the whole trans thing. It's not about it. it I mean the, the the kids is a big part of it, but the ultimate objective, the overarching objective is to get you to start to accept people's subjective feelings of over objective reality. It's playing with your mind. And now you're a submissive, docile person that allows anything to happen. I'm just I'm, I'm telling you, this is what's going on. So, yes, it needs to be eradicated because we need people that can stand on truth. Truth is observing the world around us as it really is and calling it for that. 